Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Stephanie and today I'm making this beautiful angel food cake. This is Ginger Snap Kitchen. The first thing I did was crack open 12 eggs. I needed a total of uh, one and a half cups of egg whites. Then I set them aside. Next, I sifted together three times one and a half cups of powdered sugar with one cup of cake flour. Then it was time to beat the egg whites. So to my mixing bowl, I added 12 egg whites, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar. Then I beat them at medium speed until the egg whites were at soft peaks. This can be done with a hand mixer, but I thought I'd been through enough with all that sifting. And there's more to come. It took four or five minutes to get to this point. Next, I gradually added one cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons at a time. Once all the sugar was added, I continued beating until they reached stiff peaks. After that, I combined the whipped egg whites with the flour and sugar mixture. I sifted about one fourth of the flour mixture over the beaten egg whites and gently folded it together. It's important to be very gentle so you don't deflate all of the air you just whipped into your egg whites. I continued adding the remaining three-fourths of the flour mixture to the beaten eggs in three separate additions, gently folding it together until it was all well combined. Then it was ready to add to an ungreased 10-inch tube pan. I spread it in the pan evenly, then cleaned up any drips. After that, I placed it in the lowest rack of a 350 degree oven and baked it for 40 to 45 minutes. Once it was out of the oven, I inverted it and allowed it to cool completely in the pan. Then I used a thin spatula to release it from the sides of the pan. And I used the same technique to remove it from the bottom of the pan. After that, it was ready to slice using a serrated knife. I served it with some slightly whipped cream and fresh berries. You could glaze it, 
frost it or serve it with chocolate sauce. However you serve it, it's light, fluffy, and delicious, and absolutely worth the effort. I hope you'll give it a try, and I hope you'll come back and join me again soon for another recipe. I upload something new every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.